This is Japan's Culture and Art by Ethan, Nate, Pat, and Mustafa. Okay, so the first thing we're going to start off with is the Japanese background. Japan's background is what I like to call very calm and beautiful. All of the art you see is super simple but so eye-opening at the same time. It relates to their lifestyle in so many different ways, but they also have a very humble and caring form of communication. Also, they love entertainment, which would be festivals, games, or working on art for whatever matter that might be. Other forms of garden their culture include ceremonies, calligraphy, and ikebana, which is a form of flower gardening. They also paint and make sculptures in their spare time. Their tradition of art has dated back to 10,000 BCE to the present day. I believe that just shows how important it is to their culture itself. Here are the pieces we've chosen. This is called the Flower Ball. This piece was created by Takashi Murakami, and he has created many abstract pieces. The art is described as being very happy and vividly colorful. Murakami's sculptures and artworks combine the top pop or the pop culture represents, represent, uh, refri, references of Japan with the nation, nation's rich cultural tradition. Takashi's enormous factories of workers produce and sell his art. One thing that is very interesting is that his art is selling for a ridiculous amount of money. They sell for $200,000 to $2 million, and more specifically, for the flower ball pieces, oh, they, the flower ball pieces specifically go for more. There are plushies for sale as well that range for around $100. People call them designer products. So this piece was created because Takashi Murakami wanted to display the message of joy and innocence. With 12 rounded petals and smiling faces, Takashi Murakami's flower balls are celebrated for their display of joy and innocence, which contributes greatly towards its asking price. The Japanese artist's fascination with flowers began when he worked as a school teacher in the 1980s. Every other day, Takashi Murakami would buy fresh flowers for his students to practice drawing. His goal was to create a joyful and enjoyable learning environment through his art. After repeating this lesson plan for nine years, he found himself enchanted by the individual personalities of flowers. With their beaming smiles, Murakami's flowers are now his most recognizable motif, having been featured everywhere from the Palace of Versailles to Van Sneakers. A little background on Takashi. Takashi was born February 1st, 1962 in Tokyo, Japan to his mother that was a homemaker and his father who was a taxi driver. Throughout Takashi's entire childhood, he was always more artistic and creative than everyone else. And once he got to college at the Nostaka, Takashi went to the Tokyo National University of Fine Arts and Music where he studied Japanese painting. He is also compared to Andy Warhol for his art as a business approach, as well for his large factories which produces his art. His work, his work draws inspiration from the Japanese subculture of Otaka. Otaka. This, this replicates cuteness and innocence as well as an incredible, an, an incredible, incredible violence. With the slide, we went over showing a violent style to his flower. In his youth, Takashi immersed himself in the world of art as he drew stylistic, sickening, and cute pieces of art from a distant standpoint. He also earned his Bachelor's of Fine Arts degree and his PhD. Takashi is one of the most important and visible Chinese artists to this day. He is known for showing American culture the unseen, and the unseen art of Japanese culture and the type of art that they all love. 